guys, it's Valley Wild and Perfume Down back at you with another fragrance video. If you love fragrance, if you love smelling good, if you love smelling good, I am so hungry. Oh wow, it just hit me all of a sudden. I have not eaten all day. One, because I was like cleaning, then I was like lollygagging, talking on the phone, you know, and then my her mom here came over and then she didn't come over with no food. I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So then and now I'm doing this. And then I don't really have anything in my fridge that I actually want to eat. But then I also don't want to go outside to go to get the food and then bring it up. Um, so there's that. And I don't know. I'm just like, I don't feel, dude, I've gotten to the point where I literally do not feel like cooking. I don't enjoy, I'm not, I don't enjoy cooking. I don't feel like cooking. I'm running out of ways to surprise myself with flavors. You know, I'm, I know what I'm about to make. It's not, it's not exciting. Um... But yeah, for that reason, I've been losing weight. As someone um, mighty strong, you asked me about how's the diet and the weight loss going, girl. You see how big this shirt is? I have lost 30 pounds. I've lost a lot of weight, okay? That's a lot of weight since the beginning of this year. I used to weigh 170. I'm sorry, more like 180. And now I'm down to like 150, 140 type border. Um, losing a lot of weight. Which kind of is, you know, it's great because, okay, great. Yeah, skinny on the road to skinny. Um, but then also, like, my clothes don't fit. Like, I look like I'm playing in my mom's clothes. Like, my clothes do not fit. This was already a big shirt to be to begin with. But now it's, like, huge. Um, and I, I don't always like the oversized look. Actually, I think it just makes you look bigger, to be quite honest. Unless you're, like, really, really skinny. Anyways, that's a tangent. Today, I want to share with you guys, um, which one do I want to do? Because I have a few. I'm looking at a few fragrances here. A few different fragrance videos that I want to do. Um, let's do this one. So, I went through my collection and I found a few fragrances to where I feel like if you really liked these fragrances in the spring and the summer, but now it's getting colder. Oh, it's so beautiful outside. I kind of want to run and just go outside. Like, it's beautiful. But anyways, I'll stay here with you. We're friends. Perfume Mafia gang gang in this thing. Anyways, the fragrances that you were wearing in the spring, summer, if you really liked them, but you're like, oh my God, they're not going to work for fall, winter. I have some alternatives for you, some ideas. And of course, I'm not going to cover the entire spectrum. So if you guys have some suggestions for fragrances that are like people love in spring, summer, but you need an alternative for fall, winter that's kind of in the same vein, not exactly, but kind of in the same vein, drop it below. Okay, the first one, I love Jo Malone's, jo Malone's, <laughs> jo Malone Red Roses. This is a nice crisp cut red, oh, oh, red rose. It's the most pure red rose fragrance of all time. I love this fragrance. It brings back so many memories, but it's not the best for fall, winter. I wear it anyway because I do what I want, but it's not the best for fall, winter. So an alternative, I would say it's the Lalabo Rose 31. This one has a little bit of depth. They add some spice in there. I want to say cumin or maybe pepper or something like that, but it has just enough spice in there to really ground it and to give it some legs, some roots to stand on um, when it comes down to fall, winter. And the performance on this is amazing. This one actually isn't bad, especially if we're speaking about Jo Malone fragrances, but this one definitely wins when it comes to fall, winter. So if you're still craving that rose kick, go with this one, Rose 31 versus Jo Malone Red Roses. Actually wear them both, actually pair them together, but you know one or the other we're talking okay if you really love this is one of my favorites especially celebrity affordable scents britney spears fantasy this is such a fun fragrance it has the fruity note which the next one doesn't have but it's hard to do fruity in the in the fall winter um this one has a very nice white chocolate and cupcake note which adds the sweet element even though the kiwi is like that uh, playful fruitiness. But if you want to continue with that chocolate note, because you probably like sweet things if you like this fragrance, then I would suggest go ahead and check out the Duo Fragrances Belgian Choco Truffle. Now, this is a true chocolate scent. That's, <laughs> that was kind of hard to say. Um, this is a true chocolate scent, and I really, really like it. It's the original blend. They have, like, an inspired scents by popular fragrances, but they also have original blends. And this is, like, a straight-up chocolate scent, which will definitely be with you when the weather gets really, really cold. People are going to be able to smell it. When You know, when you walk into a place and you take off your jacket, I know people have masks on, but they're actually going to be able to smell this one through the mask. It's really potent. But they're going to be like, mmm, you smell like chocolate chips, chocolate chippy chippy cakes. That's how you're going to smell. <laughs> I don't 
don't know what I know. Anyways, the next one that we have, if you really like a soft floral, soft sparkly kind of a floral scent, similar to the Paris Hilton namesake fragrance. I really love this fragrance. Beautiful for spring, summer. Again, very affordable kind of a scent, but it's not the best for fall, winter. But I got you. We can do the Miss Dior. So this one is a very strong floral scent. But if you just like florals, clearly, if you like this scent, you like florals, then go with something that's very strong, that's floral, it will still be with you in the fall, winter, and that's Dior's Miss Dior. And then this one, oh my God, this is such a strong floral scent. Like seriously, I, I want to say maybe it has rose in there or something. But it still has like that sparkly element that I feel like this one has. So I feel like you would like either or. Let me know. If you try any of these, let me know. Call me out. Are they similar? Are they not? Let me know. I just pressed these nails on. I'm still like getting used to them or whatever. A zoo zoo. But yeah, a zoo zoo. Okay, the next one that we have is if you love a tuberose scent, if it's just like, you know, you love tuberose. I love tuberose. It's, what do they say? It's the bad B of florals. Everyone wants some tuberose in their fragrance. It's such a candied floral fun kind of a scent if you love a tuberose um specifically something like diptyques du son um which is a very pure tuberose kind of a scent um then i would go ahead and this is the edt pick up something that has that note but then also has almost like the same peppery element as the Lavo's rose 31 and that is from by Rado. this one's flower head this one has like a spiced element to it it's actually created um based off the idea of going to an indian wedding or a pakistani wedding um where they have all of those like beautiful flower fixtures all around and then also the culture and the food and the spices like all of that together that's what this is made off of and it has i i on me it has good performance and also has like a, a green piney element to it for me i forget the note that causes that but for that reason i just looked i thought i saw something terrifying <laughs> girl um but yeah for that reason i really really love this one and it's the perfect way to quench my thirst of a tuberose in the fall winter all right the next one that we have is going to be from ferragamo um if you've been rocking with me for a long time you know that i always love this one a lot of you call it an orange creamsicle kind of a vanilla scent i'm here for that description it's a beautiful soft vanilla scent Oh, I love it so much. It's beautiful, feminine, but not the best for fall winter for me. I don't think this is very robust. It leaves a trail, beautiful trail, but it's not a very robust kind of a scent. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more robust, I would go to Mansara. So this is Velvet Vanilla. This actually also has a very nice tuberose, candy tuberose kind of a scent, but it's got the most beautiful birthday cake vanilla fragrance that is on par with the um, Amo, I feel like. So if you can't really rock with this one because in the fall winter it's not the best, then go ahead, check out Velvet Vanilla and you should feel a little bit more satisfied. So yeah, those are the ones that I feel like are good alternatives. Let me know if you try any of them and also let me know, give me some suggestions because the weather's turning where I am, it's getting pretty frigid. So let me know what are some suggestions and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.